I've got several projects that are in the works. John Barber is a radio enthusiast. Since 2013, he's directed Radio Reimagined in Vancouver, Washington. Now. Performances vary from radio broadcasts to in-person radio plays acted in front of live audiences. The pictures that evolve in our minds when hearing sounds are much better than any that might be presented to us on a movie screen, a television screen, a computer screen. The live plays were performed at Keegan's Theatre in downtown Vancouver. With the pandemic, all the in-person events, recordings, and in-person acting had to stop. Actors could still record their parts, and the pieces were assembled for airing, but things have been very different. Uh, one similarity between the three is that they all feature classical music. So I have a, a rough edit of The Lone Ranger. John knows radio involves the imagination to form the images in a story, unlike the visuals provided for us by the the makers of movies, videos, and television. No offense to you and the work that you're doing. I take a little offense, <laughs> John, but okay. Well, I have to produce one episode a month for broadcast. At any one time, I'm working on two or three. His latest work is a collection of radio play broadcasts from the popular 1950 anthology show called X-1. This is Reimagined Radio, and we are listening to The Velt by Ray Bradbury. A story about children in their virtual reality playroom losing connection with their parents. We're thinking of turning the whole house off for about a month. Sort of camping out. Be fun for a change. Now, don't you think so, Wendy? No, it'd be awful. Another part shares the plight of a marooned astronaut in space. And the fuel tank's empty. Receiver broken. Transmitting and clear. Anyone picking this up, anyone... This is Rev McMillan calling. There's no way to get back. This edition will air Monday, June 21st on local radio stations. John hopes after a year of isolation, listeners won't feel so alone. This is something that um, maybe makes the world a little better place for an hour. And if that's the case, then all the time and effort that goes into making it is worth it. In Vancouver, Washington, I'm Stephen Redlin, KGW News.